Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm here to do a one month baby update and I'm here with my baby. Yes, there's a baby in here, but she's pretty much sleeping. Let's see how it's gonna go during the video. But she's here with me. Uh, actually, by the time that I finish this video, edit and all and post it, probably she's gonna be almost two months old, but better late than never. <laughs> so I'm here to tell you how the first month went. Okay, to start, she was born on October 23rd, 2021, and she was born with 7.2 pounds and 20 inches. Actually, like, they said 20 inches, but on her pediatrician, they said 19.7, so around that, 19.7 or 20, something like this. By her third day, she lost a lot of weight. I was like freaking out because I, I knew she would lose a little bit of weight, but I didn't know it was going to be that much. She went down to 6.6. .6. And even though I was worried, the pediatrician said it was normal, especially if she was having like wet diapers and dirty diapers, everything was probably fine. And by the second week appointment, she would have to like recover her birth weight and then everything would be fine. And that happened on her second week. She not only recovered her birth weight, but she passed it. She was like 7.4. So yeah, she was pretty, pretty good. And by her one month appointment, she had 9.6 pounds. Oh my God, she gained a lot of weight. So she went from birth 7.2 to 9.6. It was a, a, like a big difference. At least I thought it was. I don't know, I'm a first time mom, so. Yeah, I thought she grew a lot and she gained an inch and a half. Uh, it's so hard to measure baby, so it's probably right, but uh, I don't know. I have a feeling she grew so much, so in my mind it's even more than that. I'm gonna show you here like some comparisons of pictures of when she was like one day old from when she was like a month old. It was such a big difference to me, like on the beginning she was so tiny. It's funny because she was born like she has this really round face. So when we were taking pictures and sending to people, everybody thought she was really big. And I was like, no, she was like, she had tiny, a tiny face. She, has a, she had tiny stuff, like tiny feet, tiny hands, tiny face. And of course in the pictures you can see the proportions and all. So I was like, no, 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 and you see in person, you're gonna see she's so tiny. And then everybody would say the same thing when they would see her for the first time. They were like, oh my God, she looks so much bigger in the pictures. And it was true. But by the end of the first month, yeah, she caught up. <laughs> she was so big, yeah, she got to the big baby. Yeah, now I can't say that anymore because she's a big baby. She still have tiny feet, like crazy tiny feet. <laughs> but all the rest, I think it's like really a big baby now. And since I started the video talking about sizes and how much she grew, I'm gonna continue talking about breastfeeding. On this video, I'm gonna talk about breastfeeding, talking about her. So about like the pain of breastfeeding, the hard time to breastfeed and all that, I'm gonna talk on my postpartum video that's gonna be here on the channel in a few days. So if that's what you wanna know, hang on, cause it's gonna be here soon. But in here, I'm gonna talk about her. So she was born already like knowing how to latch really well. Uh, she was born at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 4.50 actually, and then like 30 minutes later she was already eating, she was already breastfeeding and she had a perfect latch, like the nurse said, like it, it's perfect, and she ate for 30 minutes on that first time. Of course it wasn't the whole time just eating, I just had colostrum by then, so it was like a little drop here, she would fall asleep a little more, she would fall asleep a little, a, a little more, <laughs> anyway it was like that. And then by the time we went to the room after the delivery, which was like around two hours later, she went to the boobies again and she ate for 30 more minutes. But those were the only times she ate for 30 minutes, like seriously. After that, she started eating for like 10 minutes. I think like after the speed started to increase, even on the colostrum, she didn't need to be for 30 minutes anymore. So it, she started doing like 10 minutes at a time and like around 10 times a day from the beginning to now like she's on the average of 10 times a day the whole month 
but what changed was the time so the two the two first times she ate for like 30 minutes after that she was on average for like 10 on the first few days and after my real milk came i think my my flow is like really fast so she only eats for like five minutes to the all the way to the end of the month on the beginning i was like i was thinking that was crazy i was worried especially on those first two weeks that i didn't know if she recovered all the weight or not i was like i don't know if she's eating enough and I couldn't convince her to eat more. When she's done, she's done. There's no way to convince her. I try to burp her, to put her on the other side. I try everything. When she doesn't want it, she doesn't want it. And if I insist too much, she gets mad. So <laughs> I can't. But then I went to the doctor and yeah, she passed her birth weight and the pediatrician said she probably is eating like very efficiently. So those five minutes are enough for her. So I'm not like trying to force her anymore right now. I let her decide how long she want to eat for and that's it. Which is actually like a really good thing for me. I'm not going to complain about that because it's not like if I get all the times during the whole day that I'm breastfeeding her, it's not even a whole hour. There's a lot of moms I know that has to like stay one hour at a, at a time at least eight times a day that's crazy like it's so long it's so much time and with her that's very easy one of the things that i think it might be the reason too is because she's only like breastfeeding when she actually needs to eat she doesn't stay there for like just comfort and stuff and from the beginning she didn't do that and like on the first few days we already introduced the pacifier to her i know that's very controversial a lot of people like like pacifiers a lot of people don't like pacifiers so i'm not here telling you what to do or anything like that i'm just telling our experience with her we decided to try the pacifier and with her the experience was really good because she didn't have any nipple confusion by taking the pacifier so it wasn't a problem with her she continued latching really well after that which was good and I don't know if that was one of the reason why she doesn't like suck oh, for comfort on the boobies she's only suck on the comfort on the pacifier and she's very practical even with the pacifier like she doesn't take the pacifier if she's really calm and happy playing she doesn't need it she only takes the pacifier when she's actually like agitated or stressed out or about to cry or something like this and she really needs that comfort or on the beginning she wouldn't even take to sleep she would fall asleep without it by the end of the first month she yeah she preferred to have the pacifier to sleep but the minute that she falls asleep she already like spit it out <laughs> she doesn't need it i'm gonna i have a video of that so i'm gonna show you guys even now she's sleeping and as you can see i have this to protect because she speed ups a lot <laughs> But she doesn't have a pacifier on her because she doesn't really need it after she's sleeping she doesn't need it anymore and since you're talking about that she's also tried the bottle not with formula just with my my own milk but i've been pumping so that like if ever i need to go somewhere do something somebody else can feed her so she's not relying just on me specifically like if you have an emergency or something like that i like to have that option and sometimes just to rest too like if i need to rest especially on a weekend when peter is not working and something like this he can do that so i can sleep more and i've been pumping like since first week and i decided to introduce it to her after two weeks because I, I was afraid of nipple confusion and stuff like that and she takes the bottle really well and she didn't have any nipple confusion about that too so she's a pretty easy baby i can't complain about those stuff okay next topic here about her it's gonna be sleep because i know that's something that everybody asks everybody wanna know is sleep on a newborn is like never such an easy topic uh with her uh, at, at first i was like oh my god we are so lucky because i before she was born i was reading so much about sleep sleepy training of course she's too young for sleep training but i was reading about like how to create good habits uh bad night routine naps i was reading a lot about all those stuff and i was like already to put a lot of things in practice of course i can sleep train but like create good habits from the beginning i was ready to try but then she came home and she was such a good sleeper on the first two weeks i swear to god she would sleep like 20 hours in a day she would wake up just to eat she was alert for a little bit and when she was alert she's pretty good like she's really strong she plays a lot i'm gonna talk more about that soon 
but she's pretty good but then soon she falls asleep again on her own nobody needs to walk her nobody needs to do anything and i was like oh my god we are so lucky but yeah, that was for the first two weeks. I remember that on the two-week appointment, I even asked the pediatrician if she was sleeping too much. I was like, is that too much? Should I try to keep her awake for longer? Because I was worried because she was like sleeping most of the day. And the pediatrician, no, no, don't worry. She's going to start getting more alert. And yeah, the, the two weeks were exactly the mark. After two weeks, she started like getting awake way longer, especially during the day. One good thing is like, from that beginning when she started like sleeping less she already knew the difference between day and night for some reason and then she started like taking longer stretches in the night but staying more awake during the day and now during the day by the end of the first month I got to the point where I actually have to try harder for her naps because sometimes she fights the naps during the day are you waking up? A little bit <laughs> but then at night she's pretty good she's pretty easy like I just can't pass her bedtime she has a bedtime around like 8 and I can't pass that if I pass that too much she gets stressed out and then it's harder to put her to bed so I know it's a little early I think because on that age I would like to go to 10 because then if she do a bit longer stretch I can enjoy more of that and like sleep longer too but no, I can't do that. If she passes 8, she gets cranky. So her bedtime is around 8. And if I do everything right, like give her a nice bath, uh, put her PJs, feed her, sing to her, something like this, she goes to bed right away very easy. During the days, we have good and bad days. Some days she just sleeps a lot, some days she sleeps less. She's good though, I can complain too much. But yeah, it's not the same as the first two weeks for sure. Okay, now talking a little bit about her, her personality, how it's being in the house and all that. She's a really amazing and impressive baby, like from day one. Uh, she was born already like with big eyes, looking at everything, looking at me, looking at her dad, looking at the doctors, paying attention on everything. And so strong, like from day one, that I was like really impressed. And then we came home and like, it's crazy, like with two, three days, she's already holding her head up by herself and changing sizes, like, it's crazy. I have videos here with her, like with four or five days old, when she's doing tummy time and already like heading up, facing this way, facing that way. I'm gonna put here for you guys to see. And we were like, oh my God, I were you just born? Are you serious? Sometimes she even do movements like she already wanna crawl and a, a, like, do you understand you're just a few weeks old <laughs> it's crazy like how strong she is and so smart too by the end of the month she's already like trying to make sounds like she wanna talk and it's the cutest thing ever she still didn't smile socially on the first month but she gives a lot of like random smiles which makes me think she's gonna be a really smiley girl i don't know i'm gonna show a few images here to you she was born like her first picture with me and peter she was like had already a face like she was smiling and yeah i have a lot of pictures of her like with the smile and i know during that age like in the first month they are not like social smiles but i think she's gonna be a really happy girl as i said earlier there's no way to do like a, a routine with the baby on this age we pretty much follow whatever it takes whatever she wants and stuff like that but i've been trying to create some kind of routine like in the best way that i can for now so every day i try to like wake up around the same time take it put her to sleep around the same time and also there are a few things that i like to do like every day i like to do a little bit of tummy time with her i like to play a little bit like lying down and i like to take her on a stroller ride as often as i can i don't do it every day but i try to do as often as i can so mostly almost every day because i think that's really good for her i didn't do it in the first week and then after one week i started doing it of course my neighborhood is like very calm so it's very easy to do it also i live in florida so even though it's late in the year it's still like a really good weather here as you can see by my clothes and all that in florida we don't have like a bad winter or anything like that so that's easy for us about her baths 
on the first two weeks she was doing only sponge baths because because of the uh, umbilical cord her umbilical cord fell when she was exactly one week old she was born on a saturday on next saturday it fell and it looked good but it still like was recovering so i waited and she was fully recovered before i introduced her to like a tub <laughs> and then when she was two weeks old we started giving her like a bathtub bath and she loves it she didn't love it when it was a sponge bath it was really hard she was crying a lot on the beginning on the first few days she would cry when we were doing it uh, when we were doing her body, she always liked her hair done <laughs> for some reason, it was comforting for her. So on that part she looked like really happy, but when we were doing her body she would cry. Up until she was like one week to ten days and then she stopped, I think she got used to it, then she stopped crying. Same thing with diaper changes, she cried a lot on the first week and then after one week she got used to it so she stopped crying, especially when we start using like the wipe warmer, that helped a lot, she never cried with the wipe warmer, like that's a lifesaver for sure. And the bathtub, it's something that she really enjoys it from day one. When we put her in the water and we keep putting the water in her body, she really, really likes it. It's something really comforting for her. So I'm trying to do as often as I can at night. I, I was hoping for like every day, but I don't know, some days I just don't do it because she's not really that dirty. <laughs> and I just keep a few days here and there. But most of the days I've been doing it because when I do that, and then I feed her, she sleeps like so well, so it's so nice for her that it's something that I really like to do. And before I end the video, I want to give one tip here to you guys that's having an app to control like the diaper changes, the breastfeeding or feeds in general and the sleeping because when we are home with a newborn baby like it's so many things we have to think about that like we can memorize like if somebody asks you when is the last time she ate like i wouldn't remember by head sometimes i would but it's so many informations like how many diapers are they how many hours of sleep or whatever so i downloaded this baby tracker but there's a lot of apps and i bet they are all pretty much the same, so you can choose which one you like the most. I've been using Baby Tracker, and then every time she eats, I go there and put there. Every time she, I change a diaper, I put it there. So anytime I need to know, like, oh, how many diapers I changed today? Uh, when was the last time she pooped? Or something like this. I have that information in hand, and I can rely on just on my head, because that wouldn't work for sure. We ended her first month with a small celebration just with the family and the video is already here on the channel. If you didn't see it, you can check it out. And I have a bunch of videos of her, of course. I take like videos and photos, a lot of them, all the time, every day. So I'm gonna put here a few of the best moments of the first month here for you guys. And if you wanna follow everything like in more in like in real time you can follow me on instagram i post a lot of videos and photos of her every single day and i even have a profile for her so i'm gonna leave it here in that down below so you guys can go and check that out and that's it for today if you have any questions just leave it in the comments and i'm gonna answer you and that's it so bye bye